back this time of year while we transition to warmer weather. We may be on the lookout for mosquitoes and ticks, but there's one more flying critter we need to be aware of. Black flies have made their return to the inland northwest, and this is their mating season, so they're all over. Our Nikki Torres working for you tonight on what experts call tiny flying vampires. Nikki? Tiny vampires is a pretty good way to put it. They are similar to mosquitoes. They fly around waiting to suck someone's blood as food. But the reason for it is actually the river. These flies like it when the water is rough and as well as when the weather is a little bit more humid. This is a black fly. And you can see how tiny it is compared to a mosquito and a regular house fly. It's that time so. of year. The sun is shining, temperatures are warming, and black flies are invading the region. Don't remember what those are? Well, then you might remember this photo of a local boy. Two years ago, those flies came after him and left his neck covered in bites. They like to do a sneak attack. Bug experts say black flies like to go straight for the back of the neck. Sound familiar? Perhaps a certain folklore? They will actually use Use their sharp mouth parts to slice open your skin and inject an anticoagulant and uh, suck your blood. Yep, you heard her. Black flies are like teeny tiny vampires. That's what she uses to feed her eggs. They will travel for several miles, up to 10 miles, away from their breeding site to look for a blood meal. That next blood meal could be you. Back of the neck is where they like to go. They like to um, be around hair for some reason. They're so sly you might not even know you got bit until you figure out you're bleeding. Feel something wet on the back of your neck and you reach up and you find blood on your hand. There is a preventive method that was created right in Spokane Valley, the Go Clip. It's an insect repellent that uses all natural essential oils. It's really great for the back of the collar because of course that's where the black flies like to go for their blood meal. While black flies aren't poisonous, bug experts do want you to know that you should keep those bites dry and clean because they can get infected pretty easily. You can also take an antihistamine and just put a standard bug ointment on any bites. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Nikki Torres, KXLY, 4 News.